Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your news shot. And this is a pretty important one, <clears throat> as everyone out there can be affected by this. Uh, is it fear-mongering? Maybe. Maybe not. Major chip flaws affect billions of devices, so says CNN. Two major flaws in computer chips could leave a huge number of computers and smartphones Vulnerable to security concerns, researchers revealed. And a U.S. government-backed bodies warned that the chips themselves need to be replaced to completely fix the problems. The flaws could allow an attacker to read sensitive data stored in the memory, like passwords or uh, look at what tabs somebody's had open on their computers. Daniel Gruss, a research from, researcher from Graz University of Technology, who helped identify the flaw, said it may be difficult to ex execute an attack, but billions of devices were impacted. Called Meltdown and Spectre, the flaws exist in processors, a building block of computers that act as the brain. Modern processors are designed to perform something called speculative execution. That means they predict what tasks they will be asked to execute and rapidly access multiple areas of memory at the same time. Now, that data is supposed to be protected and isolated, but researchers discovered that in some cases, the information can be exposed while the processor queues it up. Researchers say almost every computing system, desktops, laptops, smartphones, cloud servers, is affected by the Spectre bug. Meltdown appears to be specific to Intel chips. More specifically, it says, all modern processors capable of keeping many instructions in flight are potentially vulnerable. In particular, it says, we have verified Spectre on Intel, AMD, and ARM processors, according to researchers. Now, government agencies have issued warnings, user, uh, warning users about these vulnerabilities. U.S. Computer Emergency Readiness Team says that while the flaw could, quote, allow an attacker to obtain access to sensitive information, it's not so far aware of anyone doing so. That's good. So, <clears throat> it's not so far aware of anybody doing so, but let's just, exp let's let everybody know out there that these flaws exist so that they can. You know, that that's great. So, so let's just tell them, whoever them is, that this flaw exists and until everybody on the face of the planet decides to change their freaking processor chip, that will continue to be vulnerable. This seems to me to be a little fishy, and I'll tell you why. Because I think at its core, we are subject to vulnerabilities on uh, various things, whether it be software, whether it be hardware, we're always subjected to these vulnerabilities. Not to mention, how many back doors have been built in to existing software um, uh, brought to you by Microsoft and Google and other manufacturers where government has basically demanded that these back doors be put in there. I mean, we allow it anyway, and people go about their business. Not to, not to say that this isn't important, but to me it seems a little bit fishy that they would put this on the street the way they did, knowing that the fix is so gargantuan in nature. I mean, they're basically saying that all these companies, all your corporations, everybody that has servers, down to Joe Schmuckatelli with his smartphone, everybody's got to replace everything right now. What? Get the hell out of here. That's what I'm saying. It is absolute just asinine, you know, and, and to be honest with you, it's technically impossible. I mean, not everybody can go ahead and just, oh yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, I just bought this computer six months ago. Let me just chuck it in the garbage. Or even better, let me just have to go upgrade it all of a sudden. I don't know if anybody's checked, but, um, you know, processor chips aren't necessarily cheap. If you, especially if you want, you know, if somebody's out there and you want the cutting edge stuff, well, it costs a lot of money. I said, how would you feel if you just dumped like $1,200 on an i9 processor chip just to find out that it's vulnerable to this crap? 
I'd be pretty pissed off. And do you think there's going to be some sort of recall by all these manufacturers that, oh, out of the good graces of our heart, we're going to go and replace everybody's chip? No. Nobody could afford that. It's such a gargantuan task. You know, not to mention the fact, think about this. China owns 90% of the rare earth element mines in the world. 90%. A lot of these chips rely on rare earth elements to be manufactured. Now we are beholden to China to get the resources to replace all these chips. That's going to take time. So there's a lot of things here that uh, kind of smell fishy to me. I am not totally convinced that this is as serious as they are. I'm, maybe it's a down year for computer manufacturers and they're trying to drum up business. You know? Are you going to be vulnerable to it? Probably. We're vulnerable to a thousand other attacks. So to me, this seems to be a bit of the of fear mongering. However, it's something to certainly pay attention to. And of course, if you feel the need to replace your chip, I guess you could when they figure out how to fix it because they still haven't figured out how to fix it yet. So, I mean, this is just a crazy thing, but certainly something to understand and be aware of. So the two um, two new vulnerabilities called Meltdown and Spectre uh, exploit flaws in processors. Um, am I going to go out and replace my computer or my processor because of it? No, I'm certainly not going to do it. I'm going to pay attention. Now, if all health starts to break loose, yeah, you know what? Maybe so. But I'm certainly not going to buy into the fear on this one. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website, thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.